United States was spawned many tech companies, so non-physicians who had this idea of uh, hiring doctors, hiring nurse practitioners to do video consultations, sending Kenny to Kenny now and doing this on a large scale. The best example is the company Mindbloom. It has multiple investors, it's a corporation, it's not owned uh, by physicians to my knowledge, certainly the founder is not a physician. But is it realistic to think that once the theory is out of the box, you can put it back in the box again? Absolutely. Yeah. All the DA has to do is reverse the rules that really just came about about four years ago. Dr. David Majubi, uh, the president of the American Board of Kesman Physicians, thanks very much for talking to us on the world tonight. He is now uh, approaching 10.30. Main headlines so far this evening. The White House says the latest talks on a ceasefire in Gaza have made a promising start. Five people in charge in connection with the death of the friend's actor Matthew Perry last year. And Sweden has reported the first case of a deadly variant of MPOX outside the Outbreak. It's good to speak to you again. Can I ask you first of all to, to tell us about the decision to declare this as a, a potential global risk? Why has the WHO made this decision? And should we be surprised at the warning that there will be more cases in Europe? So we've got an outbreak in Africa in several countries and lots of cases. And when we've got an outbreak of that ilk, many people many countries and uh, so, many illnesses and of course deaths as well uh, it is a good measure to say we've got an international um, outbreak and we got to act so the act of saying we've got a a I never have the health emergency uh, opens up gates, opens up gates for uh, funding, release of vaccines, use of vaccines.